So, um, let's, let's, I think it's time for a review, an honest review. Okay. So keep in mind, this is our first time. Normally when we've played games, we've played a couple times at least. Um, and I've learned from Keyflower, uh, because I hated that game the first time we played it. I absolutely hated it. Didn't ever want to play again. I played it again. It became one of my favorite games of all time. It only took two times for that to completely flip. So we have to keep in mind that this is the first playthrough that we've ever done of this game. And not going with any prior knowledge of the video game that this was created from or anything like that. Uh, just the fact that um, this is just a game, a new game that we, we got. So, all right. So you can go first on things that we do not, or that you do not like about this game. Super honest, okay? Listen, Martin Wallace, he did great on Brass, but you know what? At the end of the day, Marty, he's just gonna have to deal with it. He's gonna have to suck it up, all right? So things you don't like. Mm. Martin, I'm kidding. Mr. Wallace, um, please sign my... So for me, I don't like. things that I do not like about this game are, I would have to say, mm. the setup. I did not enjoy putting millions of tiles out there and stacking them up and then accidentally hitting the table and having to redo everything. That was not great. Uh, I did not enjoy the setup time. I also... <laughs> so here's my review for <laughs> negativity. Really is that this game, to me, is not satisfying. To me, like, it, okay, I'm now, shocked. now it satisfies everything. Like, it gives you a ton of points, it gives you a ton of things, but to me, I don't, it's one of those games where I feel like I do not care. I don't feel like I'm accomplishing, I, I feel like I've accomplished a lot here, but I don't like, I don't think I like the mechanism for accomplishing what I'm doing. Putting, putting a cube out here is interesting. Like, it's kind of cool, okay? It's kind of cool to be able to put out a, put out a cube and, and you, you combine those things and you get a better thing. But for me, that mechanism is, for, I'm gonna be honest, it's incredibly boring to me. Um, I, I don't, I, I understand how it, it can be fun. And there were points where it was fun, where it felt like a race, and it really is a race. But it felt like, it felt like all we're doing is pushing cubes. And yeah, there's a lot of carbs, or there's a lot of cards. <laughs> we've been eating a lot of, <laughs> we've been a lot of carbs it's lately. Really it's on my mind, I need some food. Um, okay, so, what the thing is like the, the cards are I, I I do I do like being able to play a bunch of cards, but I don't like the mechanism for just pushing cubes around a board <laughs> and taking tiles that then give you different tiles. It feels like you're building stuff on your board, but you're not it doesn't feel like you're building a it doesn't really you don't see these different functional parts. It's just one basic outline of a board with tiles on it. And to me, that is not rewarding. I also think that I also did not like the fact that there is, like I do, I do like the objective cards up there, but I don't like that there's so many different paths you can, I don't like games where you get that many cards, like where you get like, we start off with seven cards and they each require the, the same type of thing, but in a different, like with a different picture. It's the same thing, but a different picture. And so if you know what I mean, like the, the, there's just, it's just the same symbols, but they're just different symbols. And so, you're not doing anything really exciting to get those, you're just pushing the cubes. So for me, I think at one point, because you're drawing so many cards, you kind of feel like you're drowning at one point. You're like, yes. I don't know how I'm ever gonna get this done. There is a lot you can do. Um, I didn't even think about the objective cards. I totally forgot that they even existed once you started the game. Um, I don't really understand the zoo theme. I don't know if zoo is the right word. I think I saw a zoo on something. I don't, I don't, what I was don't it? I don't understand these, these I don't know if it was zoo. Things. I thought it was zoo because these they, animals. There, there are, there's actual animals on there. I mean, this is zoo. Things. I don't get that part of it, but I also <laughs> didn't read the rule book. He, he yeah. always explains the game to me and we just play. So it'd be different maybe if I read it. But I'm also not like a super, I don't like, Themes I do care about. I, I I mean I am, but I don't really like the themes are cool in games, but I care more about the way they play than the theme. That's how I am. So things that I did like, I felt like I was always doing something. Um, it was very sad. To me, it was satisfying because you constantly got things and you were always putting cards. I was always putting cards down. 
Apparently. He was not. He was always celebrating. I was actually doing stuff. So, um, yeah, I, for me, I would have to play this one more time to get how I really feel about the game. And I think there might be too many objective, like, bonus points cards, like all of these and all of those. I mean, I think there's a little bit too much. That's the thing. I, I think that's what you're, yes, yeah, like it's not hard to get points in this game, but there's so many options that you're just like, okay, well, I, you know, I, that, I think anything. that's what it is. I could do anything and still do yes, any point. Yes, that, I think that's what it is right there. I like a game that forces you to pick a strategy. This game does not force you to pick a strategy. And if it does, then we haven't played it enough and we just don't know that. But like, that's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't force you to pick, like, okay, like I have seven cards here. I want to be forced to have to play like four of these. And if I don't, I get penalized. Like if I have- yeah, That would have been the worst part is if like you didn't exhaust your hand and the person got done first, you got negative points. Yeah. And all of the cards still in your hand. That, that would be fun. That yeah. would make it a little bit more We need more, stressful. we need more, we need more, a little bit more penalties. punishment and penalties. Yes, because <laughs> there's just, okay, well I can't do this card. Well, uh, yeah, I can do these five. You know what I mean? You're always getting cards, so. But you have to do the cards to exhaust your hand. You have to eventually do it, but like. But is there a penalty? Is there a no. penalty if you have any cards left in no. your hand? When you just get the bonus seven points if you. If you yeah, you just get the bonus. Shirt. Yep. Uh, yeah. So so for me, um, so for me, things that I liked about this game are the fact that I I there is a, okay. Even though I said I didn't like pushing cubes around, there were certain parts where I was like. Well, you know, you, you, you do this thing and you get, you, you pop this here. I do like that puzzle feeling of like, you have to have these tiles, which build up to the next level, which build up to the next level, which build up to the next level. I don't necessarily just enjoy pushing a cube here and going like this and doing whatever, you know, just putting a cube on the board and getting a thing. But I do, I do like the puzzle aspect where you're building up, 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 up to more complex things. And then you're like, you know, forget the basic things. Now we're at like more and more complex. It does feel a little bit satisfying in that way. Um, I wish there were different mechanisms for like ships and docks and t industry tiles. I think that's what it is. It's like, whether it's this, this, or this, you're all do you're doing the same thing or your cards, you're always pushing cubes here and producing. I don't like that. I think there needs to be more to this game, but I, I guess it was trying to be super simplistic and like, I don't know. Um, I think this would be really fun for, for a person just getting into board games. Like yeah. into like the deeper side yeah. of board games. Um, it's not super complex, but it's more than just, you know. I will also say that there was a big complaint about this feeling like multiplayer solitaire, and it, it kind of did. I mean, we were all we were both playing our own game, but we did trade a lot. People said that it was like useless to trade, and I, I dude, I would still be playing this game, like yeah. still have a stack of cards, and I, I was, I basically gave her the win by all the trades I did. You know, what I mean, I funded your your win. You're welcome. I traded you so much. <laughs> uh, you're right, you, you shipped did. shipped ended. I had to ship a lot. But I shipped ended like three times. I, I, I think that, like, I don't think that the, uh, I don't think it was, it didn't feel super multiplayer. I mean, it was, it, it was actually pretty solitaire. I'm going to be honest. I, I do think that there was a little bit more interaction than I expected with the trading and stuff. But what I wish is that they scaled it better for two players, especially where, you know, maybe there's only one of these tiles on the board. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. If there was only one. Cut it in half. Tie it then that would be a little bit more. What they should have done, I think, would be like, the number of players minus one is how many tiles you put on that board. So they should have given at least four for everybody, and then just whoever you play with minus one. Or if you're gonna trade, if you're gonna trade, you have to give that person the gold instead of them just taking yeah. it out of the general supply. So you yeah. have to have your explore token as well, is that explore? Or trade token as yeah. well as the gold in order to trade. I think that would be, um, a little more. Yeah, you're giving one from the too. supply. It's just, it's too. And that would make it a little bit more interactive too. I mean, mm -hmm. multiplayer interactive. For for me, I do like the objective cards that they kind of steer you in that direction. And there's a lot of points to be had at the end of the game. It's pretty cool. She forgot about them immediately, but like I do think the objective cards bring a lot. If they didn't have the objective cards, I would never. I would. I would not rate this game high at all. This would be. Any points. I <laughs> yeah, that's probably why I would never get had a good time at all. But. But I, I think without those, there's no, there's mm -hmm. no direction. It's just go, yeah. just use all your cards, do whatever you want. Just whatever you draw. Yeah. For me, this game was not exciting. I think that's what I'm trying to say. It was not very exciting. 
Um, I don't like, there are some games where I'm like, dude, I need to play this again. This game, I don't, I don't really want to play again right now. I, I would like to play again off camera and just really just relax in it and see what we can, you know, accomplish. But you I, I, suspense. yeah, like I don't, I, I didn't, I wanted to end the game is what I'm trying to say. I wanted the game to be over. See, yeah. and for me, I want to play it again before we put it away because I want to make sure that I either like it or don't yeah. like it. Um, I'd really like to play it again. I didn't, I didn't get the boring feel. I thought that it was very fast paced and you just keep going, I did like that. It was nice. fast paced. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to try it again and I would, I would consider getting this out and playing it again. It wouldn't really? be something that I would just set on a shelf. That's interesting. Other games. Yeah. And it might be something that you can modify it yourself since they do give you like the two. It you know, might be maybe, a house rule. Yeah. Maybe next time we can add a house rule and we only put out one of each tile and then see how that plays. Yeah, so I think that pretty much covers it. But this is, I'll, I'll tell you this for me, this is not brass. Um, and, and brass is a very high bar and I can't really, it's not fair to compare this except that it absolutely is because it's the same designer. And I expect a lot from my boy, but this is not brass. It is not probably gonna go down as, in history as like one of the best games ever made. Um, it's just, it's just good. It's just a good Okay. And the art is beautiful though. The art is really the nice, yeah. Really the art's really nice. nice. Really, really nice. You can tell that love went into this game. It's just from it's just not appealing to me. But uh yeah. So right now I I like I again it's initial play, initial thoughts. It for me it's a five out of ten. It's just right down the middle of like eh. Ugh. You know, just that eh. Yeah. I'm mean, probably a six point five. Six point five is pretty flat. <laughs> for a game that you said that you want to play again. I would. I would like to play it again right. to see how I, how I truly feel about yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe we'll do like a follow-up eventually. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this playthrough and super honest review of... <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding. Anno 1800. Good try. Hopefully we'll, we'll be back for, you know, a follow-up review that is a little more positive. Well, for me at least. Okay. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the energy and just you know, just vibed out with us, please like and subscribe. And join us next time where we play a game. <laughs> All right, guys, later.